This internet video is sponsored by Surfshark. What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It. And this week we're going to be exploring the beautiful coastline of Pembrokeshire. If you're new around here then welcome. And if you're not then thanks for sticking with us. Two months we've been on the road in Wales and we've loved every single minute. Custard the bus has only given us a few problems so far. Ooh. Yes. But on the whole it's been glorious. This week we have a splash about with our mates. Things get weird in the van. There's not much room. <laughs> Say no to crack kids. <laughs> and Custard's girth gets tested in some tight country lanes. My God. And we sniff out some of the most stunning Welsh beaches we've ever seen. Meet us down there. We'll see you down there. See you down there. And I test out my new bodyboard. What are you looking at? <laughs> Breakfast, then, Clive. What have you making, Clive? Would you like a tea or a coffee? Tea, please. Yeah. Wales. All right, Turkish. <laughs> go on, let's see how high you could go without spilling it. <laughs> it's going. <correct. laughs> it's literally splashed everywhere. <laughs> But that's gonna taste like we're in Turkey, Craig. Give me a Turkish. Well, it's actually coffee, but you got tea. Turkish tea. Turkish tea. Van life dream versus the van life reality. We're in a lay-by, but it works. We got some neighbours. Jets into the sunset. Good morning, love. Oh, you brought your own tea? Oh, we brought our own tea. Bring your own, is it? Yeah. We're still friends. Yeah. <laughs> we managed to meet up for like one more day. The guys are off doing their thing today. We've got to go and pick up a parcel, so um, yeah. We're going on a hike and they can't go on the Oh, that's, that's not happening. Right, that's the truth. Yeah, that's we managed to catch Tanya and Adam for one more cup of tea. <laughs> we said our goodbyes and then we headed to the Blue Lagoon. The sun's out. i got sun cream on. You know that feeling when you like summer? is officially here. The bus smells like sun cream and it's so lovely. Amy's got a rubber ring. We're just gonna have a good time, lads. Meet us down there. We'll see you down there. See you down there. Give us, it's about 10 minutes away. See you just there. 10 minutes. In a bit. Now we've made it. After a bit of a stressful drive and a squeeze in. Cassa's just such a big girl and we, we're we really confident with her. We take her everywhere so it's really good we've actually managed to fit her here. The guy was like, oh it's full and I was like, what about that space though? So we've managed to back her up into the car park. It is really busy today. Usually I'd be bothered by that but I'm not. I'm like, it's such a good vibe. The atmosphere is brilliant. Everyone's out on kayaks. Everyone's jumping in the Blue Lagoon. I just think it's lovely and I'm so glad everyone's out enjoying themselves. It is a bit of a circus today but we're just another couple of clowns isn't we? Amy ran back because she forgot one vital piece of equipment. <laughs> got more toys than anyone I've ever seen. She bought a bodyboard the other day for a fiver, a car booty. <laughs> so if you don't know what the Blue Lagoon is, you don't know what we're doing, you don't know what we're on about, this is where they hold the annual Red Bull cliff diving competition in Wales. Yeah. It is an incredible spot. It's crystal clear. You don't have to obviously jump the same height as the Red Bull athletes. There's like another spot where you can jump and they've got like different meter heights. It's, a, it's an exceptional place. You're gonna love it. We're all going on the 
Summer holiday. <laughs> I got my iced coffee, Craig. I got my rubber ring. Today is a good day. Lads, we're going in. Go for the jump. You're going to do a big jump, babe. No, I'm not going. Oh, <laughs> <that's a shame. laughs> How clear this water is, ready? There is actually a resident seal here as well. Oh yeah! Sometimes he shows up. He's not here today, but you never know. Show up, Troy. You can do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> so while we were having a little swim, a balloon flew down. So I picked it up like the responsible person I am. I'm going to take it into the bin so a penguin doesn't choke on it. You should do the same. Heading back to the bus now, cup of tea, and then plan B. Or the next part of the plan, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the day looks glorious, but that water was so cold, we're like, should we have a cup of tea in the bus? <laughs> I was literally <laughs> sat on the shore, just like convulsing, because I was so cold. Craig so I managed to take my whole outfit, so... Um, <laughs> That's why I came, you jumper on. I've got a rug around myself. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're gonna come, bring a wetsuit or bring layers for when you get out, because uh, you will be cold. So this is Aberaidi Beach, which is right next to the Blue Lagoon and the Blue Lagoon is like a five minute walk from the car park but this is a lovely little spot as well, it's much quieter you don't get the massive crowds but this is where the car park is just over there look can you open the door for me please? Fiver <laughs> after you honey buns We finally found this little spot for lunch. We had some mushroom pasta and then we nipped off to St. David's for a mooch. So we've come for a little wander. I love it when I don't know where I am. And I'm like, what's this place called? And then we just stumble across things. St. David's Cathedral, mate. <laughs> Look at the size of that. She's beautiful. This is a wicked little town. There's loads of cute little coffee shops and like jewelry shops and little pubs. It's a proper little quaint beachside town, isn't it? It's lovely. So a little evening stroll uh, and then we need to find somewhere to sleep honestly i take my hat off to craig for being so brave with driving custard down these tinsy tiny roads there is nowhere this boy will not drive under the wall yeah there is a wall under that ivy building these streets talk about a stressful drive eh love Welcome to Pembrokeshire. Yeah? Honestly, man, I have such a like an anxiety attack whenever we go through small places like that. We are just so tight to walls. I'm just like, oh, he's gonna <laughs> scrape the paint. But it was worth it because even though the back window was stinking, we got a sea view, mate. Five star apartment, sea views from Custard. Custard's tucked away nicely. I cleaned the back screen just so we can have a good view of the sunset. A couple of steps this way, and we're greeted with this. Oh, baby, Pembrokeshire! One of the main reasons you have to get to West Wales, places like this. Before we carry on with the rest of the video, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Surfshark. Did you ever get pushed around as a kid? Well, in adult life, it is so much worse than that. You will get chlamydia and die. But not if you've got Surfshark. The only friend you'll need is Jerry. Surfshark is a VPN that protects you and your online information from such things like malware, hackers and identity theft. Surfshark has got you covered. Not only will he protect you and your online data, he's a black belt in karate and he knows 
how to protect his friends. We get it. The internet is taking over our lives. We're on it 13 hours a day and we use it to cook, find old relatives. Hola, is that you? And even find a husband. So do us all a favour, yeah? And just protect yourself. Protect all of your online data, your bank details and your identity with Surfshark VPN. Go to surfshark.deals forward slash RYOW for 83% off and three months for free. Morning, you little cute buggy. <laughs> Morning, Clive. Little summer buggy. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, good. Um, absolutely starving. What are you making? I'm making BLT bagels, bacon, lettuce, and tomato with a bit of mayo on a sesame seed toasted bun. Oh, lovely! You're a spoiled cow, aren't you? Really wrong, Will Craig. Hey, hey. You're on a, you're on a Come on, then. We've made it to Marlo Sands Beach. We're in the car park having a late breakfast and then we're going to go for a flipping swim because today it is boiling hot it's a beautiful summer's day in Wales and uh, we wish you were here thank you very much you're welcome nice outfit of the day babes thank you very much again <laughs> you just love your life with me don't act like you cook all the time. You just <laughs> I knew film that was coming. When you cook, I knew that was coming. Because I don't do it. it. Doesn't seem like I do it, but I do it all the bloody time. Yeah. But I don't film all the other stuff I do when you're cooking. That was about that. Like what? Picking your toenails. So this Marlowe's Beach, it's not really a popular one. We asked you guys where we should go when we came to Pembrokeshire, and this popped up a few times. Um, so I thought, oh, well, maybe we'll just go like to the off the beaten track kind of beaches instead of where everybody goes and scout them out, see what they're like. Like the Blue Lagoon? Not that one, obviously. That's a, that's a must do. <laughs> yeah, it's a must do, for sure. Cracking day for a love. Is that it? How good is that? So when you come down, if you go down the steps and then turn left and you keep walking, you walk over the rocks, there's loads of little tiny bits of sand and little mini bays. And there's a few people here, but you can kind of pick your own. Super cool. A little bit like Portugal, but with a raw Welsh coastline instead. Stunning lads. Put your little blanket down, babes. I'm gonna put it here so I can lean against the rock and read my book. You wrote a book, did you? So intelligent. What book are you reading then, babes? So I'm reading Our Ridiculous Wheel Trip by Matt and Reese, aka the Sidecar Guys. You've probably seen them, we've done a few lives with them on Instagram before. They basically took a motorbike and sidecar and circumnavigated the world. The book is hilarious. If you're into travel and sort of journeys and what people get up to and who they meet and things, this one's definitely for you. Um, but the tide is fast approaching. I think maybe we should go. Lucky we left when we did. Oh. People must just stay and like wait for the tide to go back out. Yeah, I home. guess so. All right, a little bit of water then, is it? Just an FYI, the Pembrokeshire coastline is sick. And you can walk around the whole thing as well. There's a coastal path if you're feeling like a, a big old walk. What do you reckon, eh? Do you reckon we could do the whole path today? Um, I'll, I'll look after the bus, you go. <laughs> just walking around here, it's just sensational. We live in this country. It's mad, I'm, isn't it? I love it. I'm so proud to call Wales home. It's just glorious. But we didn't see a seal. But we are doing something really special this evening. And I've got fingers and toes crossed for an encounter. Hi, Lynn. 
goes! Oh my god! Do you want a bit of close driving with you, son? <laughs> Tell you what, mate, these country lanes are next level. Don't look at the back, though. We'll talk about that later. The back? Uh, let's just have a look at that, shall we? Oh my god. What have you done? Not me, mate. Oh, I hold my hands up. It was me. Of course it was. You're the only one that could drive this bus. <laughs> first time it happened, I reversed into a fence and then I fixed the uh, casing for the lights, basically. I just drilled it back on, put a bit of duct tape on. And then last night, I reversed into a bank and just bent the whole <laughs> fiberglass back. Wonderful. But these things happen, don't they? You they just got to move on with your life. They do. We'll get it fixed at some point. This coming out of your wages, not mine. <laughs> So we found ourselves in a cute little town called Solver because here there is a shop called Mamgi Welsh Cakes Mamgi being Welsh for grandmother and we're going to stop and get some One of the other reasons we wanted to stop in Solver is because we've been looking at buying our first property to turn into a king in an Airbnb when COVID first came around, we were like, well, we, we can't travel anywhere. So let's buy somewhere, us with no money. Let's buy somewhere really cool, do it out, make it to an Airbnb. And we saw this one, unfortunately it's old. Pretty sure it used to be an old church and inside there's like nothing in it. And there's like an upstairs with like a little, a little step up, which we thought could be like the bed area and oh, it'd be class, Craig. So if you're living in the UK right now, and you found like a doer upper in a cool place or well, you fancy looking, send us some links. Oh, I'd love to see. If you're doing one yourself, send links because I'd love to watch it. I love things like that. Custard tucking away nicely. <laughs> really inconspicuous there in the car park. All right, so we've got the, uh, the Welsh cakes. Uh, we're in a rush because tonight we've got something booked in, which is going to be sick. So we're going to drive to the spot, have a cuppa with the Welsh cakes, and then do the activity. Is it a secret? We're going kayaking! So we supposed to have a couple of these, but we got a bit, a few more minutes before our tour. Any good? We went for a nap, didn't we? So yeah, we had a little nap. Yeah, no, no. Um, um, honestly, they're probably the best Welsh cakes I've ever had. If you don't know what a Welsh cake is, this is what it looks like. So it's basically just like a little it's not really a cake and it's not really a biscuit and it's not really a scone either, a scone. It's like in between all three, but it's made on little hot plates. It doesn't look like that much, guys, but honestly, once you pop, you just can't stop. <laughs> they are so good. They're like cinnamony, mm -hmm. you've got little raisins in them. They're bloody beautiful. They're really good. Thank you, Mamgi. Diolch, Mamgi. Diolch and Vaur. Are you ready to kayak? Yeah. So I just took a big drink. Oh, don't wipe myself on it. <laughs> David Hasselhoff, bro, is that you? Have I got wine on backwards? You might have, it's a bit gapey. Turn around. Yeah, the knee you pads. <laughs> you have the knee pads, turn around. Turn around, they're on the back. <laughs> ah, always going. Thank you very much. Uh, I booked a tandem. Because I can, you know, I need some help sometimes. Don't be lazy, don't fall asleep back here. Make sure you do your share of the work. So, Grad, you're jumping. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Right then, stick your paddle in, kid. Start off as we mean to go on, is it? So, we didn't mention we're in a place called Fish Guard. Pregnant seal. Pregnant seal, right ahead. <laughs> so apparently Steve said there's a seal that knocks about. We're about to see a seal on a crab box. <laughs> Slow down, Amy. Turn us left if you can. <gasps> there's another one. This must be her boyfriend. Hello, gorgeous girl. How are you doing? Oh, she's covering her little eyes. Hello, missus. <laughs> Thank you. 
We have arrived in Thailand. Had loads of those Welsh cakes. You're lucky we're not sinking, Craig. I inhaled about 15. This is an immaculate spot to come out on a kayak. It's not even sunny and the water is deep emerald green. Imagine on a sunny day coming out on this, you'd have a treat. Say hello to the seals, Craig. We're getting a kayak. All right, Lance, we're going in. Take us in, Craig. Whoa, look at that colour! So, so this is this is called the rainbow cave because of all the colors in here it's also called the singing cave because there's great acoustics give me a song craig go on heather <laughs> heather is that you <laughs> Cool, that was. Loved it. It was so good. Steve probably knows more about jellyfish than anything on the planet. It's brilliant. So interesting though. I want to go home now and watch loads of documentaries on jellyfish. <laughs> really interesting stuff. But yeah, brilliant tour. I was a bit gutted about the weather, but it really didn't matter. Like the colour of the floor and the colour of the sea, just incredible. We finished the kayak tour, which was quality. So if Steve, if you're watching this, thanks for showing us around, mate. We loved it. And uh, we've been on eBay now trying to find ourselves a kayak. Anyone send, send a kayak, good price, good price. We'll have it. We'll whack it on the top of custard and we'll be away. Yeah. Uh, the other week, Tanya made us a delicious salad. And I was like, I'll try my hand at that. Shot myself in the foot because Amy loved it so much. Every night now, she's like, can you make a salad for me, please? It's not just a salad, though, is it? It's not crappy, yeah, it's leafy when thing. It, yeah, when I say salad, we're talking levels, salad. mate. Salad. Chickpeas, roasted pumpkin seeds, peppers, smoked tofu, avocado, cashew nuts sizzled with soy sauce. And that's smoked tofu, and it's really good. People diss tofu, but that stuff, oh. Yeah, if you get the firm Luke. stuff, next level. And also this wicked magic maple bake no dressing. Oh my days. Feel like you're back in Bali? I do. That is a hefty salad. I'm so hungry as well. See all that kayaking I did, Craig? Took the lead on that, didn't I? Um, have a go then. Tell your fans what you think. So lovely. Just a bit of everything on the fork, you know. The hot food mixed in with the cold food and that dressing. 4 99 for the recipe. <laughs> We've actually found the park up with a view of the sea. Uh, hopefully we'll get moved on. But <laughs> no signs saying no camping, so... If the police were about, you know where I am. Say no to crack kids. <laughs> <laughs> We've eaten so much food and there's no way this is this is getting on. Goes up to there, that's where your neck's supposed to be. So we've made it to White Sands Bay, it's a lovely beach. I've been in for a couple of waves and now we're gonna take Amy out on her new body board which she bought from a car boot sale the other day. So uh, let's give it a go. Can we just take a minute to appreciate my belly? I grew, I grew up myself. Look at that. Little mound of beauty. Probably wobbles when I've got this on. Are you ready to go in? I'm or ready, what? I'm ready. She's got a gun, an 80s gun, look at her. <laughs> How are we going to do this now? Do you want me to take the lead or? Go for it. Got some big waves out there, Clive, are you ready? No, it's freezing. Ready? Just jump forward. Kick your legs. There she goes! Go for it, kick your legs, kick your legs, kick your legs! Oh, there's a big one at the back, Aim. Um. Good day. It's time to shine. Go on, Aim. Yeah. Yes! Here she is, Amy Slater. How do you feel about your first wave of the day? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we go like that. I can't really see. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do this together, because we're showing how you do it. Because um, I'm the best. Anyone else screaming out there, or is it just me? Jesse, you're just screaming because you're, you're the only one having a good time, babes. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Yes! <laughs> 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 Oh, we're in, we're going to be 
in the vlog. Yeah. You know how I act in the vlog though. Don't be weird, don't be weird. Huh? Okay, okay, wait, let me just mentally prepare myself. Afternoon lads, we are at Wild Lakes Wales with our good friends Holly and Josh. <laughs> Go on, plug, plug your gram. What's your name on the gram, Hall? You Everyone can wants find to know. me at Ms. Miss Mancy underscore. Josh, do you want to plug yours, mate? No? It's just no. Josh Mancy. Yeah, <laughs> find them. So we were going to go wakeboarding. They actually do, they've got like a zip line wakeboarding Loads setup stuff, here. Yeah. But we're going to do like a, what are we doing? Uh, it's an aqua park instead. Aqua park! Aqua park, baby! Aqua park! Hey. Aqua park. Go on then, babe. All aboard the Custard Express. The bar is now open. Yeah. Side is for the lads. Holly and Josh actually came with donuts as well. So yeah. if you're coming to visit, these guys have just set the bar. Well, well done. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hug each other then. <laughs> Great hugs. Nice to see you both. See you, mate. Cool. Love you. Yeah. Short and sweet visit from Holly and Josh. Um, we found a lay by to sleep in, and it's just me and you again, Amy. Me and you, the best team. Amy's a bit gassy, so I'm going to leave her out here for a minute, and now I'm going to put some tea on. <laughs> Why does it sound like you farted on a trifle every time? <laughs> Minging. You're horrible, you are. So lads, that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we actually found out this week that we've been nominated, nominated? For, for an award for our podcast. Oh, so we've been shortlisted uh, in the Blogosphere Magazine Awards for Best Podcast of the Year, which is mental. And it's so lovely, because honestly, we love doing it, but we spent so much time like researching all of the topics that we put in there, and we had a bloody great time doing it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, so, so fun. It's lovely to sort of be recognised, you know? Yeah, so um, we'll leave the link in the description. I think the first round goes off like audience vote, so if you could all drop a vote for us, that would be amazing. I mean, we are against quite... So there's some big competition in yeah. that category. <laughs> so there's four other people in the category. So um, yeah, fingers crossed. The more yeah. folks, the better. So we'll leave the link in the description and we'll also leave the link for our podcast just in case you haven't heard it. Start on season four. Hopefully we've given you some ideas for when you come to Pembrokeshire. It is a wicked place. Yeah. It's so much fun. Such good vibes. Mm -hmm. Um, before we go, babes, you got anything for the people? You got any wis words of wisdom for the people? Um, as the world is opening up more and more, um, let me know where you're going, if you've got anything planned. If you don't, go and book something, go plan something, get out there, don't be afraid. Jump back into society and the world with open arms. And always remember, it's your world, guys. You control it. Rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye.